What's the worst pain you've ever felt? Gout. The foot swelled up massively, it was bright red and hot to the touch. Touch was the last thing I wanted, just having enough air movement to shift the hairs on my foot was excruciating. Unbelievable pain that I couldn't escape from. I swelled so much that when it finally went back to normal, the skin sloughed off like I had had a massive sunburn. I could feel every heartbeat, painfully, in my foot. Five weeks into my current flare-up. Was in my right foot, two weeks later as my right foot was getting better, it developed in my left foot. No crutches here at home, so I've been holding a cane with two hands and putting all my weight on it to hobble to the bathroom and such. Sleeping sucks. The weight of the blanket hurts, and it's tough finding a position I can rest my feet and that doesn't put weight on the painful spots. The worst is when my toes bend or twitch when I'm sleeping. The pain feels like someone just slammed a hammer onto my big toe and it jolts me awake instantly. Okay so he was really young to be running a church, 26 I think when we started there on our late 20s. He had been running a small house group for a very large church and that small group became its own little church. My friend was one of the original members so they'd been friends for years and he'd watched her suffer. When he heard that certain substances could help he hit up a friend from high school that he knew would be able to get some. Then he called up a few of her girlfriends to sit with her the first night and keep her safe. He did all the research he could on dose and side effects. It was just an act of love. He always put people above rules or expectations. We moved away a few months ago but I miss that place so much. Best friends I ever had I met in that building. I was ice skating and going through a major growth spurt when I was 13. The skates were too tight. I hit a crack in the ice and did a maneuver to stop from falling on my face. Well crack. Snap. I shattered my tibia from just below the knee all the way down to the ankle, in a spiral fracture. Because the skates were so tight in fact that when I hobbled and limped off of the ice and had them removed my leg did not immediately swell up. I knew my bone was broken. I could feel and hear the various shards of shin bone grinding up against one another and the muscles. Yet, people assumed at most I maybe bruised my bone. I went home. Limping and in the worst physical pain. My father said I was okay. But after about 12 hours and the pain just getting worse I finally was taken to the ER, where I learned I fractured my leg in 8 different spots on the tibia. I had to get metal pins put in, and was in various casts for 4 straight months and a boot for 2. I've posted this before but here you go. I had an abscess on my taint, like smack dab between my balls and asshole. 3 days and I went to the hospital because I was in unbearable pain. He said he didn't think it was an abscess but gave me antibiotics just in case. By day 9 I couldn't walk anymore to go to the bathroom and it was getting worse and was the size of a softball, and started leaking the worst smelling fluid I've ever smelled in my life. At that point it was the worst pain it ever felt, but oh boy did it get worse. I went to a different hospital and the doctor went whoever saw you at the other place is an idiot. This needs drained literally right now. It'll be right back. So, they drained it, which honestly was relieving as hell at first although it did hurt, seeing as how she's massaging blood and pus out of an area I couldn't even bear to touch without wanting to die. But apparently there was a blood clot they couldn't get out, so this doctor without warning shoves a scalpel inside my taint and just starts swirling it around hard as fuck. It took everything I had not to squirm around so she could just finish it. It took maybe 2 minutes in total and by the time it was over I was drenched in sweat and just kept going fuck. I went through like 25 baby wipes cleaning all the pus and blood off of myself. When the nurse that was assisting the doctor came back to discharge me, I asked her if I overreacted. She said verbatim oh hell no. Usually you can hear the screaming on the other side of the hospital when we do that. You did really good actually. By far the absolute worst pain I've ever felt. A scalpel blade deep in my taint swirling around an already unbearably painful area. I still feel where it was because I'm terrified I'll get another. Also I had to wear pads for a week, and had to take warm baths so it could keep draining. So my taint was a bloody mess for like a week afterwards lol. That was fun. Kin concur. Vomited once from my cramps and my sister routinely passed out from hers. I OD'd regularly on pain pills and could take up to 8 every 3 to 4 hours. My period symptoms also would sometimes give me that jaw thing that people are describing above, but all my teeth felt like they were vibrating and splitting in half and being burned out of my jaw by inflamed nerves. To add, half my face had bolts of fiery lightning running up into my eye socket. I cried myself to sleep once because the pain was unending and no pills would make that particular symptom stop. I could write a book of all the abnormal period pains and painful symptoms I'd get. Every month was a new one, but they'd repeat. Doctors never cared to figure out why our periods, nor the pain and symptoms, were so bad. Their best guess was bad fibroids, lol. 
one on BC and I skip periods now. Now way in hell am I going back to the weird and painful symptoms I'd have. No way. It literally made it so I couldn't function for 5 to 7 days every month. To this day I don't know why, but one day when I was 15, I had an episode of tremendous nerve pain while at school. I could barely speak I asked the teacher for help, and she told me to wait until next period. With shuddering breaths, I squeezed shut because light hurt, I begged my classmates to call an ambulance. No one did. I was slumped over my desk for what felt like hours I know I lost consciousness at one point. I just hoped someone would get home help. But nobody did. At a certain point, I decided to run to another classroom for help. I don't know what happened, but I woke up on the girl's bathroom floor, a girl asking if I was okay. I asked her to call 911, I thought I was dying, and she got a teacher. At this point, I was fading out of consciousness again. The teacher kept asking me questions, she thought I had overdosed. Laying in the floor, I thought I had somehow been flayed my skin felt raw and exposed, my clothing touching my skin burned. Once again, I begged for an ambulance. I became unconscious again. By the time the ambulance came, the pain had begun to subside, though it was still considerable. I was concerned about the effects of being unconscious, but they refused to do any checks, and instead only checked for STDs. I asked for something to dull the pain, but they could only give me baby aspirin. After testing negative, they sent me home. I occasionally get episodes of nerve pain like this, but never as bad as that day. One day I was in class and my stomach hurt so bad I could barely breathe, it was in my computer's class so I typed out I need to leave and got the teacher's attention. She immediately started asking if I was okay and helped me up to leave the classroom. I made it to the cafeteria where I had to sit down, at this point I was beat red drenched in sweat with tears running down my face rocking back and forth holding onto the table so hard I snapped off the corner. The counselor came out and they called my mom to ask what she wanted done. She was off that day so she drove up to school and it had subsided enough for me to walk to the car. I hopped in the passenger side and within two minutes the pain was completely gone. My mom thought I had been faking it and said something to that effect but the look I gave her was enough to convince her otherwise so she took me home and I went to bed and slept for over 20 hours straight. No idea what it was but I'm grateful that everyone took it seriously. I had a similar story. In middle school one day I felt a severe pain in my stomach. The type where I could barely breathe in and had to walk around the halfway half folded over. I made it to gym class and finally decided to go to the nurse's office. I hobbled over there on my own with tears forming in my eyes while it felt like someone was stabbing me from the inside. My mom eventually picked me up from school and as soon as I got into the car, the pain magically subsided. It was like nothing ever happened. I think mine was caused by extreme anxiety. I hated going to that school and suffered from anxiety and I think it just manifested itself in physical pain. I eventually transferred to a different school because I couldn't stand the environment there. Everything was completely fine after I switched schools. I had a toenail removed permanently on one of my big toes and it's all done with local anesthetic. The way my doctor did it was four shots on the trunk of my toe sort of perpendicular to the side so think horizontal across the top and bottom and vertically on the side. The first three didn't hurt too bad on the top and sides. More than a normal shot or anything but nothing crazy. The fourth one under my toe however instantly felt like he has somehow grabbed the nerve that ran from my toe all the way up to my groin and tried to yank it out of my leg. The pain was gone soon as he removed the needle but it turned me into a pale shaking mess and I threw up. I've had much worse injuries but that little thing was the most visceral, pure sort of pain I've ever felt.